So I want to bring forward a really powerful message for you about giving yourself a break. Because I think that we see people that are communicating with source, that are communicating with their guides, that are um, vibrating at higher levels of consciousness, and we want that for ourselves, right? And we start to think that everything we have isn't good enough, isn't right, that we're doing it wrong. That's not true. First of all, all experiences have value if we have the eyes to see them, right? Vibrating at a 3D consciousness, that's not a wrong experience. It doesn't mean you're not doing it right. And it doesn't mean that 5D consciousness is the highest that you can vibrate at either. There's always more layers. But the layer you're at is exactly where you are supposed to be right now. If you're there, it's because you still have things to learn before you're ready to go higher. But the point is that we have this idea that people that show themselves on social media or what, if through any avenue that are doing better spiritually than us are have attained this level in life where everything is perfect for them, why they're always vibrating high, and where they can handle anything. Now, it's true that when you're vibrating higher, you have more tools in your toolbox to, to catch those human parts of you that want to be in the fear and doubt and get out of them quicker. It doesn't mean they don't happen, though. While you are human, Fear and doubt are going to pop up from time to time. You might have weeks where you're on top of the world and where you're really, really just vibrating knowing and love, right? But then something's going to happen and it's going to cause you to doubt everything and fear. And that's okay. So I want you to know that everyone has those thoughts and those experiences. And the only people that don't are people that go off by themselves in the woods for a month at a time and detach from society, detach from this physical reality. Now, I know that because I've experienced this. So I know there's two paths. There's two choices. Full enlightenment is complete detachment from society. It's possible because anything's possible. But you can't do it while you are plugged into society. And, well, I shouldn't say can't because anything's possible. So, yes, you could. I guess for me personally, it wasn't possible. Um, but there's this other choice. There's this choice of being human and saying, that's okay. That's what I came here to do. And I am going to use all the tools that I possibly can. So I'm going to fill my toolbox up with energetic tools, with mind tools, and with physical body tools. Those are really the three aspects of us. I'm going to fill my toolbox up with these tools so that when a situation happens that causes me to experience fear and doubt, I can reach into my toolbox and come back to my truth that I am part of source, that I am source in a physical body. And so any fear and doubt is coming from not believing that or not fully understanding it, not having full knowing of it. So the big message here, the big takeaway is if you think other people have found some secret or have uh, achieved levels of consciousness where they don't experience fear and doubt, one, they're not showing you their complete truth. And two, because they don't want you to know that, right? And they don't want to be projecting more of that out there, right? Which, which makes sense. But for you as the observer, you don't know that, right? And that is a really hard place because it makes you feel like you're doing it wrong. 
and no, you aren't. You aren't doing it wrong. And the best way you can nourish yourself is just to fill up that toolbox. Again, your energy body, your physical body, and your mind body. Okay? That's, that's the key here. Nourishing those. And having tools to where they, when they feel like they're being attacked or when they're not working completely, know that you can reach into your toolbox and uh, take care of yourself because it really is all within you. I love you.